Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2004 for race 36 of 36, season 2 of the crew mode, the finale of this season. We're going to Homestead today. We are not really in a championship hunt, we're pretty much out of it, but we can at least go for a win and get more money, so there's that. As far as team management goes, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, the chassis and some stuff was already fully uh, built, as well as the bodied engines. I think uh, the engine just. Wait, okay, maybe the. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, we did add in the new shop edition, so we have the engine balancer uh, coming in six more races, so that should be around, maybe around, I think, uh, after Darlington in Season 3, so that's where it, that will come in, and then we have to wait another nine races to build that, so then it'll be by Pocono, so it, it's going to be a long time. But we're going to just head into race weekend, go into this race with the best stuff we do have for now. Uh, engine will pick number three. And body will pick, uh, we'll go with number six because that is the best one we have. And it is a car rating 73, 1% uh, lower than last race, which was a 74, but we'll take a 73. Again, that is the highest rated car we've had, or the second highest rated car. So, because before we were like at 71, 72, so we're slowly getting up there in the, in the car rating. So, let's just, uh, you know, get into qualifying and see where we start here. I don't know how well I'm going to do. Holmes is pretty tricky in terms of just how the AIs perform, so. Let's just get into it and see what happens. Here it is, the final qualifying lap. This is the one that counts. All eyes are on him as he makes his way around the track. If he wants to start up front, this has to be the good one. It's the final lap. Hang off turn four. Just car just doesn't turn like it just it just wants to plow straight but we get a 30.9 that's not even that much better jesus christ oh my god it's so it just doesn't turn it just i have to be like as i'm going into the corner i have to be making sure i have the wheel turned just for it to go because if i brake while going straight it just goes straight so i i have to like completely change the entire way i drive just for this one track, oh my God! Jeff Gordon, Dale Jr. start up in the front row. Let's uh, let's finish off the season with a good note. I hope. Three, two, one. Green flags out. Run away here, starting on the outside. Gonna try to get to the inside right away, but I guess we got a good start. Okay, there we go. I don't know. Just gonna have to really try to be careful, I guess. I. That's right up there with probably one of the worst qualifying rounds we've had. In a while, maybe since Atlanta, maybe not even since Atlanta. I mean, it just it just was not good at all. In order to get through the corner, just uh, I don't know, it just just does not feel comfortable. So we slide up the track just a little bit, but we don't hit the wall, so that's good. We're still in 28th. Bobby Labonte is behind me. He might be able to get by me, but it's just insane because like we actually have some good pace, but the car just handles like shit. So when I think pit stops come around, I'm definitely gonna you know loosen this car up and make it. You know, a little bit more tolerable to drive for the second half because as of right now I don't know how good it's gonna be it just does not feel comfortable whatsoever to drive we were casing mirrors and now we're on p24 the car <laughs> it definitely has some good straight line speed I'll tell you that I mean that's about the only thing this car is going for which is very odd because normally the cars in general just don't have good straight line speed but the car just feels very unstable like it, it feels it feels loose going in and it's tight it's just it's just a very ill handling car like Every I don't know I'm just I just don't feel comfortable in this like driving this whatsoever because I just don't know how it's gonna perform one lap to the next. But as I'm saying now we are gaining ground so I'm, there's that I don't know I don't know if, if if we're lucky we can salvage a top 15 but that's that's a big if at this point. Getting run at McMurray gonna try to go into one try to make a move and be, but try to be very cautious with it and it worked but oh god I hate this I hate this car so much just really trying to focus trying to concentrate I will be paying a lap 13 going into 14 so there's that but that's we're not even halfway there to that run I just can't wait to get to that point because it's so freaking tight it's just dumb it's unbelievable oh my god please I just want to get by Mick Murray then just chill because I just I don't know the outside doesn't really work at this track even though it was modeled to be have more progressive bank it doesn't really work 
on this game, which but sucks, but whatever. But we're in 23rd right now, and that's really, I don't know, that might be all we can really do is just be in the top 20 somewhere, because this car, it's, um, it's, it's just ridiculous how, for the most part, for the season, I don't know. I'm just I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words to describe how this race is kind of feeling right now to me. Still there. Your right front tires wearing down. Try another line or he won't last. Clear all around. Clear McMurray. How I I wish I can tell you because I don't know maybe multiple laps of tedious work or just trying to concentrate I don't know but we do clear him and the only thing we got banking on this race is maybe a decent pit stop to gain some more spots that's really it I mean that's the only thing that can help us it's really a make or break type of deal once we hit a pit stop shortly god I just it doesn't fucking turn oh, god damn just we got by Mayfield but it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna go by. Jesus Christ, car turn. I'm going, I'm going like five miles an hour slower than what I'm supposed to go through into that corner and it still doesn't turn. Jesus. This is this is really grueling on it. Like, I don't know. People are starting to pit, but we're not gonna do that just yet. And then like in the middle in the middle of three, four, we just get such a good bite and then we pass them and then we just get really tight. Like it just this car doesn't know what it wants to be. It's a it's, it's a very uh very bisexual kind of car it feels like it doesn't know it doesn't know what it wants it, it wants to be both but it's it just it's just it's like it's trying to have two genders and I don't even know this is not the channel to talk about freaking sexuality oh my god not even gonna go there anymore I'm heading down Piro this time by just gonna start slowing down I would take the access row but they're much faster than they there in general and there we go. We're going to loosen this car up by half a round. Maybe a full round. I mean, I'm going to go with a full round. I mean, might as well. I really have nothing to lose in the long run, so let's just give that a shot and just, just see what happens here. We're halfway home. The group jumps over the wall and begins to service this machine. This is their opportunity to shine. They can't make any mistakes here. It'll be a routine four-time change. That was a 15.6. That was about three tenths faster than the estimated time. So I'll give my pit crew that. They they did a damn good job with that. So we're just gonna use the access road here and just I don't know. It's this race is just it, it, oh god. I thought I was gonna come up across the track, but no. Okay, okay, car, calm down. I'm staying a little too excited being uh, being a shitty car. I don't know what's wrong with it. May look like I'm gonna gain a little bit more spots than what I was initially expecting. So I'm a little bit shocked with that. I thought I would be about where I was before, but I was. Uh, I'm. I'm been uh, sorely mistaken. We're gonna be about eh, 18th, 17th, but with those guys that just got out of Piro, they're gonna have fresh tires, so they might be able to blow by me pretty easily. But maybe we can get by Sadler, and we do. So uh, P17 for now, which is uh, very nice. Just I don't know. The wedge adjustment did feel like it helped out the car a little bit. It's much freer, so that's nice. Now we just got to really see how this car plays in a long part of the race and uh, and see as we just did a terrible job through that corner. Marks and get by us, potentially. And, yeah, it's not much of a contest. He just, just flies right around me like I'm standing still, essentially. Oh, my God. I was trying to hold off Newman there and <sighs> fucked it all up. God damn. I don't know why I was trying to race him so hard for that position, but lost a couple spots because of that dumbass mistake I pulled. There goes by Marlin because he did just pit as well, so I can't really compete with that. It's not fair. And Kirch did just pit as well, so and as well as Mayfield, so I might actually end up being back to where I was before. <laughs> Kurt's gonna get around me pretty easily. Again, just uh, can't really do anything. I mean, I can hang on in this draft for a little bit, but it's not going to really help because this car is just so much faster. And I don't even know. I don't really know what is our actual worst finish in this entire season. I don't really know. It could could be 23rd or one of the Atlanta races, potentially. I, I really can't remember. 
could be Las Vegas. Now Las Vegas, I got like 11th or something. But just I don't know. This is just really frustrating to go from two good races where I had really really fast cars in here, just just not even close. You haven't got much longer on that left front tire. Got one outside. Number 10, he's still there. The 10 car is still there. Just two laps left. Number 10, he's still there. Still there. Hold your line, he's still there. Clear on both sides. And the leader takes the white flag. Point flags out one more time around the racetrack for the final time in the second season. It's just um, been in a really close quarter battle with uh, Johnny Benson as well as Miko that's just behind me. I really cannot get around Benson, and Benson can't get and can't clear me. I might actually be able to do it here. Just a couple laps of this has been going on, and it's been probably the most interesting part of the race that's happening right at the end, but it looks like just barely we're going to clear him off that corner. Somebody blows a motor, and it's not for position, but we're going to end up finishing 17th in a photo finish almost, but that was, uh, we salvaged what we could there, and Jared gets the win, so that's interesting. I'm just kind of curious if I will go back down third in points or fourth even. I don't know. So that's, that's like the worst thing to do at the end of the season, just choke it all away. We only get like 40 or 490,000, which is fine, but we've gotten way more in the past, and it's just unfortunate. But uh, Gordon uh, leads the most laps. Jared, there was only like one lead change, but um, I don't really know. It's uh, Harlan 35th and got 12. That's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know. This race just... We did good from 28th to 17th. It just, the car just sucked so bad. I, God. Let's look at it. Let's check out the final standings that this season has and just see where everybody racks up in the standings. And that is the end of season two. We're going to, we're basically already headed into 2005, but we have exactly $6 million in the bank. Um, check out the point standings here. We move, oh my fucking God. That race killed us in points. We were, we were second. <sighs> and we back, went back down to fourth. That, that fucking stings. Because we were... God damn. That fuck. That, that. Right, no, nothing really I could have done. That's just really frustrating. There was just nothing I could have done. Junior's the champion. 25 top fives. 30 top tens. Jesus Christ. That's insane. <laughs> That's insane. So Junior had six wins. Jerry had five. Gordon had six. And I had nine. And Harvick had four. Rudd got one at that Darlington race. Stewart went from being way back in like 13th in points. Got back up into the top 10. Salvaging two wins. So okay season for him. Newman I think got that win at Dover. Uh, Martin went winless. But managed to get top 10 in points. Actually almost performed just as good. Well average finish wise not so much but still ran okay Marlin just gets 10 per 11th and uh, just gonna scroll through the points here McMurray got 80th now he was a battle for the rookie of the year so that's interesting uh, in the first season and we're gonna go all the way back to the bottom and Stan Barrett's dead last as far as driver respect everything's pretty nearly neutral for the most part Weekly, I could go through all of this just to show you what's what it was real quick, and you can maybe pause it. So we'll start from Daytona, and just slowly scroll through. And not really slowly, but we're just gonna uh, scroll through this really quickly. Um, yeah, we got some of them, some we didn't, but that's cool. Uh, Rookie of the Year, Kevin Grubb won. I mean, he was the only one. Pull Awards, we got 11, so we won that. Uh, manufacturer Chevy won that by a little bit. And lap champion, I ended up getting third place behind Gordon Jr., who had nearly twice as much laps led than me, so that's uh, that's crazy. But, uh, actually, look all the way down for the pull award. There you go. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot we can do in the garage right now. Stuff's still being kind of in the process of finishing up. So, 
as of right now, we could start repairing some stuff. We got one being built as of right now for eight more races. Um, that one's still uh, pretty good, but we'll, we will repair probably chassis five. See if there's anything to do there. Yeah, we, that can definitely go up to 72, so we're gonna repair or overhaul that for two races. Engines, for the most part, three and four are, are exactly the same. So uh, we'll repair this one, see. That'll go up to a 71. This one, yeah, it's it's basically identical. It's scary how uh, close they are. So we're gonna overhaul that for two races so they can go up to a 71. And bodies, eh, we could probably, um, we'll probably def we'll definitely repair uh, or re overhaul body number four. And yeah, it's some of the stuff, you know, we're getting stuff good. It's just, uh, I don't know, but we're gonna repair, overhaul that for two races. So now we're back down to almost where we were before this race started. And Balancer is coming in five more races, so that's really as far as uh, all of that is concerned. So that's it for this season. It was um very interesting one. We did very very well. It just was not consistent enough. So I'm hoping season three will you know kick this out of the park and do very very well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you stuck around, uh, like I always say, I do appreciate love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below, and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. And I'll see you all. For season three and maybe about 10 or so days so as always have a good day everyone